Howdy friends, the following video is a production by Daniel Alexander Cannon from Logic Before Authority channel. Now it's a mirror of a video that Daniel produced and has been subsequently removed from his channel. So I'm mirroring it. I would urge anybody that understands to do exactly the same. It's been mirrored and re-uploaded a number of times by various channels and what it contains is information on the correlation between the 1918 Spanish flu outbreak and the advent of radio and the current worldwide situation health-wise and the advent of 5G is. I will urge you to at least arm yourself with the wisdom, with the information, with the knowledge that is contained within the documentary. And I would urge you to watch it to the end. Like I say, I'm mirroring this. It's a very important and it needs to be shared. I will leave links in the description. Also, I'll leave a link to this website. It's hashtag Operation Radiation. Now, if you search either both on the internet or on YouTube or possibly on Facebook and Twitter, hashtag Operation Radiation, that is the request of Daniel to use that hashtag. And if you know how hashtags work, then you'll understand how this can cause a viral spreading of this information. Now, this website is a t-shirt website. And the thing about things like t-shirts is you don't really need to say anything the t-shirt will do all of the promoting of its own accord and for those that are interested or curious it does create communication conversation etc so i will urge you to join in don't forget hashtag operation radiation I'll leave links to Daniel's channel. I'll leave links to this t-shirt shop and anything else I could think of in the meantime. Okay, yeah. Logic before authority. The documentary will show you the hidden truth behind the current worldwide pandemic and lockdown. A lockdown that will be repeated the fall of 2020 with millions of real deaths. This is an urgent warning to all the people of the world. Question, what things do the 1918 Spanish flu and the 2020 coronavirus have in common? Answer, both have a next generation wireless communications technology being rolled out. Both have a worldwide pandemic and a lockdown of people and businesses. And both have the John Hopkins University and the Bill Gates family controlling the narrative across all media. Okay, we'll start here. During a speech at Georgetown University, Dr. Anthony Fauci stated on January 10th, 2017, that during the Trump administration, that there would be a surprise outbreak. Is that there is no question that there will be a challenge to the coming administration in the arena of infectious diseases, both chronic infectious diseases in the sense of already ongoing disease, and we have certainly a large burden of that, but also there will be a surprise outbreak. And I Please join me in welcoming Dr. Fauci. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Um, I've spoken at after-dinner uh, speeches and intra-dinner speeches, but I've never spoken to a line of people waiting to get their food. <laughs> so it's nice to have you. Um, anyway, it's um, uh, the idea that we are now uh, a few days away from a new administration I obviously prompted the really extraordinarily very enjoyable and I had, I'm really pleased I had the opportunity to uh, listen to the panel both of Amy and Ron and as well as uh, Bill and Dr. Jafari uh, which really I think set the stage for so many of the things that we are going 
to be dealing with uh, over the coming years. Given, as you heard from the introduction, that I have been around for a while and have had the opportunity and, and the privilege and the pleasure of serving in five administrations, um, I thought I would bring that perspective to the topic today, is the issue of pandemic uh, preparedness. And if there's one message that I want to leave with you today based on my experience, and you'll see that in a moment, is that there is no question that there will be a challenge to the coming administration in the arena of infectious diseases, both chronic infectious diseases in the sense of already ongoing disease, and we have certainly a large burden of that, but also there will be a surprise outbreak. And so how did he know? It's because he knows history's biggest cover-up. History and the cover-up are repeating itself now. So let's take a look at history and see what it can teach us. It's the year 1900 and radio has just been invented. Wireless radio transmission. It was the most fabulous invention of the 19th century. The public and the popular newspapers regarded it as nothing short of miraculous. And the leading scientists of the day in Europe and America, whose discoveries had made it possible, could not understand how it worked. Wireless, in its pioneering days, had nothing to do with music or entertainment. No speech or music was transmitted. But the tap, tap, tap of the telegraph key, spelling out messages which had traveled mysteriously through the ether, was exciting enough in a world still mostly horse-drawn and coal-fired. A world without cinema or motor car in which the telephone was still an expensive luxury. And great cities like London and New York had only recently winced at the brightness of electric light. The wider world was just learning of the possibilities of wireless telegraphy, as the new invention was called in 1897. In November that year, the very first wireless station was established in the exclusive Royal Needles Hotel on the Isle of Wight, just a short ferry ride off the coast of England. Only just the year before, X-ray photography had been invented, the biggest breakthroughs that would change the world forever were to come. And at the same time, an impending pandemic that would cost the lives of 50 million people across the world were on a collision course with each other. Wireless telegraphy in the coming decade would lead inventors such as Nikola Tesla, Guillermo Marconi, Edison, Hertz, Popov, and Bose to allow for the creation of most of our modern entertainment and communication technologies of today. The first radio voice transmission officially recognized broadcast was in 1906 by Ernest Fisk, in which he broadcast music across the airwaves for the first time. Huge celebrations and excitement as the word traveled around the world, but an unseen invisible enemy was about to show its face. In the year 1909, the term broadcasting was coined as radio towers for transmission of radio waves were being constructed around the world. Later, radiation towers would be shortened to radio towers, and the term radio was becoming a household name, and the desire of every person hearing of this magical new technology. In 1913, the International Convention for the Safety at Sea was convened, and produced a treaty that required shipboard radio stations to be manned 24 hours a day, as the U.S. military and the militaries of the world had made great advancements in the use of radio communication. And at this point, there was no turning back. Radio was here and here to stay, if only for the power it offered to the military-industrial complexes of the world. In 1916, the first regular broadcasts on 9XM Wisconsin State Weather delivered in Morse code for public consumption as a weather update program. During the next two years, the broadcast radiation tower technology spread like wildfire across the nations. Then, in 1918, disaster struck. A condition was being noticed among the general public that seemed as though it could not be explained. Headaches. Nausea, fever, dizziness, weakness, dry cough, runny nose, and shortness of breath. 
the symptoms seem to be that of what we call today the flu or coronavirus. However, in 1918, doctors had little understanding of what it is they were looking at. Most of the history written about what was ultimately called the Spanish flu of 1918 was written in hindsight, such as the term influenza virus did not exist until 1931, coined by Ernest William Goodpasture. In 1912, Goodpasture graduated from the John Hopkins School of Medicine with an MD degree. There, under professors William H. Welch and George H. Whipple, he was subsequently appointed a Rockefeller Fellow in Pathology. After graduating John Hopkins, he joined the Harvard Medical School. In 1919, he undertook the pathological study of the then seemingly unknown pandemic engulfing the world with up to 50 million deaths recorded. In 1931, the Rockefeller Fellow funded Dr. Goodpasture announced that he had made the breakthrough in recreating and identifying the underlying cause of the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918 to 1920. This was the moment that concreted the belief by the American public, as well as people around the world, that in fact, an influenza virus had killed 50 million people in the 1918 pandemic. John D. Rockefeller and his powerful friends like Frederick Taylor Gates, grandfather to now known Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft, co-founder of the John Hopkins University-sponsored Event 201 that on October 18, 2019, held a live tabletop exercise in New York City simulating a world response to a severe pandemic outbreak of the same influenza strain that was claimed to have killed 50 million in 1918. The same people, the same organizations, and the same cover-up. Based on a team of investigative journalists' research, what appears to have happened in 1918-1920 with the invention of radio is the human body's reaction to the never-before introduction of large-scale radio broadcasting and the overexposure of non-ionized radiation causing radiation poisoning. The symptoms proclaimed by the John Hopkins Organization for the Coronavirus, aka COVID-19, and the symptoms of long-term, low-dose overexposure to non-ionized radio transmission signals are the same and were found to be more likely the cause of the 1918 so-called Spanish flu pandemic. Did they know beforehand that the introduction of air radiation transmission aka radio transmission would cause sickness and death. Based on the fact of its cover-up for the past 100 years, it appears to be yes. Yes, they knew, but they did it anyways. Why did they do it? Because of the power it gave to the military-industrial complex and the power to promote propaganda to control the narrative of events like the Spanish flu and future events on the world stage, as well as great economic power is gained by the push and sell of products to the masses by companies owned by guess who? Them. Now 100 years later, and history seems to be repeating itself, a looming pandemic of the same claimed virus, just a novel or a new version. A new type of radio transmission, 5G, being rolled out worldwide, claims a death in excess of 100,000 already at the time of this recording. Drills or exercises predicting the pandemic by the same organization, John Hopkins, and the Gates family involved in the cover-up of the last one, all financed once again by the same Rockefeller Foundation. If it were not for the non-stop research and dedication to seeking the truth behind radiation transmission technologies, aka radio, and its connection to the 1918 claimed pandemic, they would have gotten away with it. Now it's the claimed highly propagandized 2020 China virus, aka the invisible enemy, and a massive upgrade of over 10 million small cell cluster style 5G radiation transmission towers of which there will be no escaping. 
and people are already losing their lives in areas like Wuhan, New York City, Italy, and other locations where small cell cluster 5G towers have already been rolled out and tested. Will they get away with the 65 million deaths predicted by the John Hopkins Event 201 exercise held on October 18, 2019 in New York City just 90 days prior to the Wuhan claimed outbreak? Fact, Wuhan was the first city in the world to have completed 100% small cell clustered 5G coverage for the entire city announced completed in December of 2019. China was also the first nation to require by law that 100% of its citizens be fully immunized by when? You guessed it, December 1st, 2019. Will they successfully blame it on the new version of the same virus, aka flu, claimed to be discovered and used by Dr. Goodpasture, who was on their payroll and a Rockefeller fellow, Grant Fundy? to cover up the known impending 65 million deaths around the world between now and 2022. Will they get away with it? Well, that is going to be up to you. The organizers behind this revelation and truth research are asking for your help to promote this urgent and historic truth and as a warning to the world's people. They have created a PayPal money pool to raise funds in an attempt to make an unexpected move that they did not count on. 100% of the funds will be used to pay to promote the actual video that you're watching right now. We do not have much time left. The clock is ticking. They are installing 5G right now while everyone is on lockdown around the world. You have go home, stay home orders. And yet it's fine for them to be out installing radiation small cell 5G towers everywhere. Ask yourself, why are they pushing it so hard in the face of a pandemic? Well, I think you now should know why. It is to give them great power in many ways. And they want it, no matter what the cost or loss of life. Here is the question of the century that millions of untold lives hang in the balance of how you answer this question. Will you stand with us and at least share this video as much as you can over and over, day after day? Also, if you can and you're able to please support our desperate effort to force this information out by paying to promote this video, thereby attempting to overcome the censoring shadow banning and blocking by YouTube and other social platforms by claiming this is fake news. I and we promise every dollar, every penny that is donated will go right back into promoting this video on multiple platforms in a last ditch effort to stop this impending genocide of millions of people, all in the name of faster internet. And under the lie of a pandemic. Please see the details for the fundraiser information that includes multiple ways that you can help even if you cannot donate. The information there will provide numerous options as to how to promote this revelation of truth and likely our last chance to stop this impending genocide. Details are in the description area. Together we can stop this. They thought we would never figure this out. They thought we were too dumbed down by their GMOs and 24-hour propaganda pushed on us by their television with the broadcasting of lies and disinformation programs. They thought that they had accounted for everything and every possible move we might make. Together, we can take a stand and let them know that we are not all blind, dumb, or stupid. Let's send them a message. They didn't count on us. You didn't count on us. We're here to testify against these crimes. We're here to hold the line. Standing up in the face of tyranny. And for all the children that you will slay. You thought your mind control had taken over all. But you didn't count on us No, but the blind 
she thought I would long Oh, all the things you've done Trojan horse, 5G As you build your peace kingdom Of technocracy And you pour out your radiation tyranny for all the children that shall slay. It's working! 5G. You didn't count on us. 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 They didn't count on us. You didn't count on us. You didn't count on us. They didn't count on us. You 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 didn't count on us. They didn't count on us. They didn't count on us. You didn't count on us. They didn't count on us. You didn't count on us. You didn't count on us. They didn't count on us. You didn't count on us. They didn't count on us. You didn't count on us. You didn't count on me. You didn't count on us. They obviously didn't count on us. They didn't count on us. You 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 never counted on us. You didn't count on us. You didn't count on us. You didn't count on us. Your time is short. You didn't count on us. Operation Radiation. <laughs>